before, never seen in Pro 9 Mall, believe it or not. And uh, it's really, uh, the, that part of it's interesting. And But the thing that interests me the most is how Efren has been able to fight and claw for the games that he's had to receive because he certainly had to work harder of the two. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how he bears up to the rest of the evening. Now, do you see the the friction on the table did not allow that cue ball to go in the pocket? Last mm -hmm. night when we played, that ball would have would scratched. Have, yeah. And uh, as the table, the nap gets wrapped up throughout the uh, rest of the play tonight and tomorrow, that's going to make ball pocketing that much more difficult. Well, Strickland's going to attempt a tremendous shot here. And you can see by the the difficulty with that one. He missed it by a pretty good margin. That's probably the first time in the entire tournament we ever saw him miss a ball by three mm -hmm. inches. But this is not an easy shot for Efren. No. Efren. No, no. He didn't catch much of a break here. But this is usually enough for the uh, master to work with. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I would say that he is the favorite to turn this into a favorable position. I'm not saying he's going to make the one, but uh, I think he's going to play a defensive shot that's going to end up working out to his advantage. It's like a rail first kick shot, bringing the cue ball the opposite end of the table, leaving the one ball on this end. And I think you can kind of get an idea of what I was talking yes. about. Yeah. Not sure if it worked out perfectly, but uh, he gave it a tremendous go. Gonna use a couple of more inches, I guess. Well, we can't really tell from this angle. Yeah, he must be able to tell by the way Earl's queuing up. He thinks he can make the ball. Mental toughness required to play this game is uh, incredible. These guys are in tremendous physical shape to be able to maintain this high level of play with uh, this volume of play. Yeah, the pressure is really at a very high degree. And, and both of them over a long period of time. And to their credit, both of them made lots of difficult shots tonight. Mm -hmm. They make them look so easy, they don't appear to be difficult. But I, <laughs> I definitely know how hard they are. I'm sure you do. A lot of times back home, neophyte uh, people watching the uh, pool, they will say to me, Mark, I watched that pool match on TV last night, and the guy didn't even bank any shots. They think that that has something to do with being a good player, but the good players. Actually, they play position in such a way that they don't have to bank very many balls. Yeah. And the score now is uh, 62 for Strickland and 53 for Efren Reyes. with us here at Ridgeway's Bar and Restaurant in Hong Kong for uh, this $100,000 winner-take-all challenge between Earl Strickland of the United States and Efren Reyes of the Philippines. Strickland with a nine-point, nine-game edge over Reyes at 62 games to 53. So Strickland needs only eight more games to wrap up the session for tonight and be back tomorrow to go for 120 to win it all. That was a two-way shot. He played it 
uh, bank shot to land a little bit to the high side of the pocket. And should he miss it, then it ends up like this, as we see. And it's a very difficult uh, attempt for Efren to play safe. It's virtually, well, there's, there's a very low percentage offensive shot, but there's virtually no chance we'll see him play that. Let's see what the magician comes, comes up with. Believe it or not, that's an absolute tremendous shot. Uh, oh, yes. The skill, the, the, the level of difficulty and the skill to execute that would be uh, uh, as tough as most of the balls that we've seen made tonight. There's a lot more to this game than just putting balls in the hole. Oh, you've certainly made that clear, Mike. That's a tremendous safety. Yes. Tremendous safety. He had to use absolute minimum speed so the ball didn't leave the cushion very much. Uh, he had to play that ball rail first. What does this look like, Rick? Well, looks extremely difficult. Nine feet away and a very thin cut. Yeah, another spectacular shot. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out position-wise. Looks like anything would be better than what he's had. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, still not uh, the most enviable position to be in. If Efren can get out from here, this will end up being the most difficult run out we've seen tonight. Another tremendous shot. Maximum speed to a half pocket. Anytime the ball travels down the rail head, the pocket's mm -hmm. actually cut in half. It's not the same width as if you come at it from the middle of the table. Another half pocket shot. Yeah, Look at this. Absolutely incredible. Oftentimes when you just uh, when you have one tough shot it just leads to another one because you cannot obtain the mastery or control over the cue ball. Mm -hmm. And the power up yet again. I think finally after uh, nine shots he's gonna end up with one that he actually would find tasteful. And extremely well done. That's win number 54 for Efren Reyes is against 62 by Earl Strickland. run out he just made. As he said, uh, Mike, uh, one of the most difficult uh, situations that uh, Efren Ray has faced. A lot of balls on the rail, a 